Hi, this is Lone Conspirator, and welcome to another tutorial video. This one's going to cover the Arma 3 Ace 3 mod, specifically the medical system. It's going to be broken into uh, three separate videos. This first video is going to cover the setup of the mod and the modules. So let's get started. Once you're in the editor, you're going to select modules, double click on the map, that'll bring your modules dialog up, and you're going to select Ace Medical. Under the module, start out with the revive settings. And you're going to enable the, the revive by selecting either players only or players and AI. So if you want to be able to revive the AI, select this one, which I'm going to do. Re max revive time, this is the amount, uh, the amount of time that you have to revive the character that's down. And this is set in seconds. So I'm going to set it to 1800 seconds, which is the equivalent of 30 minutes. Max Revive Lives, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's the number of times you can be revived. Uh, if you set it to negative one, which I have this set here, it'll be unlimited. Once you got those settings done. The stuff on the top, you can set it. It's just like any other module. You can set the placement radius, condition of, of presence. You should already know about this. If you don't, you can post a question in the uh, comments. Click OK, and that'll set your first module on the map. With module still selected, double click on the map again. This time we're going to select advanced medical settings and enabled for you can select either players or players in an AI. And since I'm going to be working with the AI, I'm going to select players in an end AI. Enable advanced wounds. This I'm going to set to yes because this is the more advanced settings. Vehicle crashes. Uh, this will indicate whether or not a vehicle crash can cause injuries. I'm going to set that to yes. Allow pack. You can set this that uh, anyone with a pack can administer it, or medics only, or doctors only. Now doctors have not been instituted yet in this mod, so we won't even worry about that. So we're going to set this for medics only. Remove pack on use. That just means it's going to remove it from your inventory once it's used. And I'm going to click no for that. It's up to you on how you want to play and have your setup. Condition of pack. What this is is whether or not you can just administer it to somebody or if you have to stabilize them. I'm going to set it to stable. And what that means is that you have to bandage the victim so he's got no bleeding wounds. If you bandage him and then you transport him to a facility, for example, to administer the pack. You might not be able to administer it because the wounds could open up again. So make sure you check. If you're unable to administer the pack, check his body for any bleeding wounds that may have opened. Location pack. This is where you can ad administer this, uh, this kit. This could be anywhere or at a designated medical vehicle and you have to be inside the vehicle in order to do that. Medical facility, a bunker or some building that you designate um, as a medical facility, and I'll show you how to do that here in just a, a second, uh, or both vehicles and facility, or you can disable it. So we're going to set to medical, we'll set it to both, so I can show you both. Okay, allow surgical kits. Surgical kits aren't working yet because doctors aren't working yet. So we won't worry about that. Surgical kits, surgical, so these don't apply right now. Blood stains. What this does is uh, if you bandage somebody up, it'll remove the blood stains. I'm going to set that to no. Only the pack will remove the blood stains because what that does is completely revives your player and puts them at 100%, including removing the blood stains. Pain suppression. Uh, this is whether or not the pain is completely removed with morphine or if it just suppresses it and it eventually comes back. I'm going to click that to no because I just don't want it to to be an annoyance. Um, once you treat it, it's treated at this setting. Click OK and that will now be on your map. 
go up to groups to ungroup these modules go back to modules double click on the map and this time we're going to click medical settings medical level we're going to set to advanced and what this is is the difficulty uh, that the game is set to is set to treat injuries so at basic there's three settings there's white yellow and red white is good yellow is somewhat injured and red is seriously injured um, at this setting basically every injury will have either one or two bandage applications and it'll be completely repaired at advanced it could be numerous it could be eight ten um, there could be like three different types of wounds, you know, and maybe more. And each of those types of wounds, there could be several of each. So this means more bandaging. And then medics, we'll set that to advanced. It just allows them to diagnose, um, and it, it, you have blood pressure uh, and more complicated settings. And I'll show you that when we're doing the treatment. We'll come back to that in another in the next video. Enable litter. This just enables the bloody rags to show up every time you bandage somebody. We're going to put that at, at yes. Lifetime of litter. That means in seconds how long those things will stay in the game until they get deleted. Enable screams. That just means that the player will scream when he's injured or yell out. Player damage and AI damage to one. This is the amount of damage they can take before uh, they get killed or basically knocked out depending on your settings and AI unconsciousness you can either disable it which means that they will be killed right out they basically won't become unconscious 50-50 the game will make a 50-50 call on whether or not the AI will be dead or unconscious and then if you enable it they will always be unconscious you'll always have an opportunity to revive them Remote controlled AI. I set this to no because I, if you keep it at yes, it treats it like AI. If you if you set it to no, it treats it like a player. So the AI is um, going to be knocked out. If you keep it on yes, I've found that the AI generally get killed, and you don't have an opportunity to revive. So set that to no. Prevent instant death. Yes, because we want to be able to revive them. Now again, these settings are all going to be up to you on how you want to set them for your game, but this is the way I generally like it. Click OK. That'll put the mod up there. Click Groups to ungroup them. Go back to Modules. Double click. And we're going to set Medic Class. And this is pretty simple. You can have None regular medic or doctors. Doctors that aren't working uh, and then we have uh, regular medics. Now under list you're going to put the name of the characters you want as medics. So we'll put guy1 click OK and we're going to go to units and if you see that guy1 here has been labeled now I found that he already has to be a medic class like this guy here if I put him along if I named him guy 2 and added him to that module he still wouldn't be able to do the full medical treatment so you have to have a medic class in order for this to to work properly I don't know if they're going to change that in uh, future updates to the mod then we're going to go to groups ungroup that back to modules and we're going to go to medical facility. All you have to do on, on this is just set it to yes if you want to have a medical facility. Ungroup it. Now once you have that set, click on modules and I like to drag it close to the facilities that are going to be designated. Go to synchronize and synchronize your facility. Now this will be a medical facility and you can do multiple so you can also drag it to there. Now both of these will be medical facilities and you have to be, go inside the facility, inside the building in order to, to administer first aid. Go 
back to modules. And the last one is set medical vehicle. Yes. Uh, is medical vehicle, you're going to set that to yes so that uh, the vehicles can be designated. And then you're going to list the vehicles you want designated. So I have two vehicles. I have a Hummer and a chopper. So car one is the Hummer and you separate the vehicles by commas, comma, chopper one. Click OK. And if you go to units, you'll see that this is car one. And this is chopper one. So those have been designated as medical vehicles. So that's the rundown of the ACE3 mod modules. You can tinker with the settings to uh, get them to where you like it. My next video will cover how to give medical treatment when the module is set to the basic settings. And part three will cover the advanced treatment. So thank you for joining me and I'll see you in part two.